Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing uh, on the Over the Hill map, right? Uh, and this is going to be a tournament. What tournament, you say? The Flight Recorder Tournament. Uh, and this is one of the, fu the, the fun tournaments, right? It's not really about winning, like, those, those sweaty players. Of course, there is a tournament medal, but mm, I only play this tournament because it's fun. Because uh, there's mini outposts and stuff, and, and it's epic in that way, so. Getting off with a decent container collection, although my opponent is slightly faster. Lots of assaults being thrown up early in the game. Hmm. Getting all of those containers. And a scout revealed two shipyards being thrown up. Not one. Two. And remember that that's very influential. Because the HQ is only level two. Usually people would not go for two shipyards in this map. Where the navy isn't that strong. So what I'm thinking is... Delta beach landing while a fortress and assault rush here. So like trying to hit me from both sides. That's what I expect. And so I will be making a, a Kaiman and then upgrading the shipyard as immediately as possible. And along with the shipyard I throw up one gun tower uh, to prevent any Delta rushes from attacking my shipyard while it's being constructed and while it's making alligators. I also upgrade my infrastructure, of course, it's very important to do that. I got some coyotes, probing the defenses. Uh, I, I say probing the defenses, but in reality what I really mean is that I'm uh, probing the map control defenses. Because there is a fortress there and it's literally just sitting there, so I don't, I don't like that. Okay, there's a delta here. Put on common defense, although it was only able to shoot once. Kinda sad. I tried to be pretty annoying uh, in microwing my coyotes as far away as from the flamethrower as possible while getting some good shots in. Trying to pierce the armor without losing too much armor myself. And then, <laughs> I see all that. And that's when you know. I'm gonna have to make some defenses. And then I see the deltas. And that's what I know. Oh dang, uh, that's, that's gonna be a big for a moment. And, uh, I only have a few coyotes, a sniper tower. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do against this? How am I going to win this? And that's the real question here. How am I going to win this? These assaults are no problem. Fortresses are slightly a problem, but the real problem here are the deltas. Notice how they're doing most of the damage on the sniper tower. I have an armadillo out. Uh, I'll move my alligators closer. I have common defense. So my gun tower can actually shoot. And in no time, those assaults have been taken down, taken care of. Uh, and so of those fortresses. All that remains are these squishy deltas. Now remember, deltas don't have that much HP. They don't have any HP at all. And they used to be insane before the naval update. They used to have naval strike. Uh, which, if you were an OG... You would remember that naval strike increases your naval unit's range, and in this case, Delta's range could be increased up to three cells, even on land. So it was unfair because Deltas could outrange every early game unit. So yeah, they they were even comparable to sniper, and and you would just be like, bro, what what is he, what even is this? A random amphibian sh <laughs> shooting close. To the length of a 
of a trained sniper and then you'd be like bro i do not care okay but i mean that's just that's just a little history lesson i do have my hawk out so defending this will be much much easier although i will i be able to actually prevent my base from being torn down The enemy does keep sending those units. Another hawk is up. So now that we have two hawks, uh, it's time to dish out as much damage as possible, of course. Uh, and I gotta rebuild that airfield. Those deltas are almost being destroyed. Ooh. Are my hawks gonna run out of fuel? That's the question here. That is the question. Oh, we see blue is going up north. Interesting. Hmm. And as my hawk runs out of fuel, we use it as a scout. And interesting. So the deltas are going on land. Okay. So a slightly more organized attack is coming. I honestly thought Blue was going to go for my outpost uh, and take the container and sneak it while upgrading the base sneakily. That's what I thought was going to happen. Like the rush was only to set me back slightly, which would be a good strategic move. Uh, although Blue decided to go for my base instead, which probably wouldn't have been a smart idea at all. By now, Blue should have had a special vehicle factory up and running for Typhoons. But, mm, too bad, too late. I already got three Hawks. With no anti-air or any means of attacking my Hawk, uh, they're not going to reach my airfield. And so, that's that. Jaguars not in siege mode usually have a pretty good armor status. Uh, you could just see them taking so much Delta firepower, although not dishing out much damage as possible. I do keep my Jaguar not in siege mode for one reason. For the Deltas to stall attacking the buildings so I can repair the buildings and use my Hawks to dish out the damage. Remember that I need to repair my buildings now and then, uh, because then the base will survive much longer. So sacrificing one Jaguar for that cause is a little noble in that case. And here you can see I'm trying to attack the, uh, the shipyard because we, we don't want deltas. And at this point in time, our opponent has surrendered. And because of this, it's epic. Very nice, very epic. And so we're just gonna spam some units. Get some units in for the base demolition. And the battle's almost over. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. Victory. Where's the victory screen? There it is.